We must have heard a million times by now how you hate cooking in your RV Easy Bake Oven. And guess what? We're going to show y'all how you can rip those fears away about your RV oven and show you how you can make something wonderful. Hey y'all, I'm Sean. I'm Matthew, and we are Broken Dreams Reborn. Welcome to our little RV kitchen. And tonight is Italian night. We are going to be making lasagna in our Furion RV oven. And better yet, we're going to show you how to do it. So stay tuned. So the ingredients for this are simple. Chicken. Now we cook this chicken in our pressure cooker, but you could even take a rotisserie chicken from the store or two, depending on how many people you have to feed. Um, oregano. Your favorite seasoning salt, we use Lowry's. Italian cheese mix. Now, this might be controversial. We use cottage cheese. Ricotta cheese is what they'll use in the restaurants, but it's just really fattening, and so we like to use low-fat cottage cheese, and I think it has a better flavor. And the Walmart brand is actually pretty darn good. And then we have your favorite tomato sauce, whatever that is. We add a little bit of brown sugar to ours. Some sweet corn. And you can use whatever noodles you want, but we use these flat noodles. Uh, they're just easier to deal with, I think. Giving you a little behind the scenes of the lasagna making. This is our secret ingredient too. Our spaghetti sauce is brown sugar. Yes. It makes it so good. The key is not getting it all over the countertop. I have three jars in there, so we get three spoons of spaghetti of sugar. Okay. There it is. Brown sugar. So you use one is it one tablespoon per jar? That's what I use. Okay. Some people might not like it really sweet, so. We do though. Yes, we do. All right, the first thing we have to do is make sure the noodles are not going to stick. So we're just gonna lay down some sauce in the bottom. It does not have to be perfect. You just want it to kinda Coat everything. And the noodles are going to need this sauce to absorb the moisture. Alright, there we go. Now the noodles. This is the fun part. You can see the noodles have sharp corners. You could either just Go ahead and throw them in there, like most people would, or you could be like me and try to cut the corners off. So what I do is I take the flat edge of a butter knife, put it up against this, and then try to snap. It makes a little bit of a mess, but it's not too bad. See? And now, that fits. Another one. There's another one. Alright, now we get to really have fun. This one. And I have to. See, that one's good for the edge. This one. You don't have to do this, but I like things to fit the way they're supposed to, so. That's perfect. 
perfect. Just break off a little piece. There. You got your first layer. Now comes for the cottage cheese. If you've never tried cottage cheese in lasagna before, you really should. It has a really good flavor. The lasagna is still going to fill you up, but you're not going to have all the saturated fat that comes with ricotta cheese. If you're a traditionalist and you like ricotta cheese, just substitute in ricotta cheese, your favorite brand, instead of this. Honestly, it's more or less a casserole type dish, so you don't have to be perfect. That's good. Next layer is the corn. We love sweet corn, so we put it in a lot of our dishes. You ought to put sweet corn in your tacos. It's good in tacos, too. All right, that's enough, because we're going to have layers. Now comes your first main layer of sauce. Next is chicken. That seems good. What do you think? Okay. And then the cheese. And you're going to be putting cheese on three times, so don't use it all right away. So, now we start over again. More noodles. Okay. And then our next layer of cottage cheese. Good. Next, more corn. More sauce. My favorite part, I like the sauce. <clears throat> All right, now on this layer, since we have the sauce here, we're gonna take and put a little oregano. A little bit should go a long way. Just regular oregano leaves, nothing fancy. Alright, chicken. And we have two more layers of chicken. This one and one more, so we need to spread it out. layer looks a little light, don't forget you have more below it, more on top. Alright, cheese. Alright, last layer of noodles. Now on the top layer, it's just noodles and then sauce. The top layer is a little bit different, so make sure you don't just go crazy and keep repeating everything. Chicken. All right, cheese. Your last, hold on, hold on. A little more oregano on this layer. Just a little bit goes a long way. And then cheese. This is your last layer of cheese. This is where 
you really want to cover it. I suppose if you really wanted to be different, you could not use the shredded cheese, you could use slices of mozzarella or whatever you want. I wonder if Munster would taste good in this. All right. And that's it, at least as far as assembling it. Now comes an important cooking step. Now comes the foil. This is where a wider roll of foil would be handy. So here's what we have to do. We cheaped out and we got a skinny roll of foil. Skinny, see? It's heavy duty foil, but it's skinny. All right, I'm just going to crimp the edges here to make it like one piece of foil. Okay. The important part is you do not want this to touch your cheese or it's going to stick to the foil, no matter what kind of foil you get, I don't care how they advertise this, this foil will stick to this cheese if you're not careful. So try to bend it in the middle, make a tent, just a little bit, and then loosely cover it. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just don't want direct heat on the cheese yet, or your cheese is going to burn before your meal is finished. All right, we want to turn it to 350. And in an RV oven, now there's 350. Let's let it preheat for a couple minutes. Okay, we're about to put this in the oven. You want to make sure this is just a, you want to make sure you remember, this is just a simple foil pan. If you just pick it up by the edges, it's going to collapse. Please have something, a cookie sheet, a baking sheet, something like this underneath it so you can slide your lasagna pan right into the oven. Now if you have a hard-sided metal lasagna pan or maybe a ceramic one, good. But if you have a little lightweight jobby like this, we got this at the Dollar Tree, then just slide it off the heavy tray into the oven. Okay, we're going to put this thing in the oven. Remember, cheap foil pans do not support their own weight, so use this or something like it. There you go. minutes and then in 35 minutes we're going to take the cover off and then let the cheese melt okay it's been 35 minutes we are just going to pull this out carefully remove this and now we're going to put it back in until the cheese melts Let's check it. Yep, we're gonna call that done. Turn this off. All this done in an RV Furion oven. Can you believe it? Don't burn yourself. chicken lasagna homemade it wasn't that hard anybody can do this we'll let it cool for a few minutes and then we'll show you what it looks like we just made lasagna in an RV oven and you can too there it is it's kind of like cutting a brownie pan you just have to go all the way around <laughs> uh, 
This was not difficult to make. Anybody can do this. You can go to your favorite grocery store and get a uh, rotisserie chicken and you won't even have to cook the chicken ahead of time. Now I'm not a professional at serving this, but let's see how we do it. Look at that. I'll try this again, see if we're two for two. Do you see all the creamy layers? Look at this. You need smell of vision. You need taste of vision. So it is possible, y'all, to make lasagna, which is what a layered type casserole in an RV oven. I mean, everybody's kind of like, uh, RV oven, but we have a good one. It's a Furion. And um, if you liked this video and found it helpful, then um, please share it with someone that might need some tips on how to cook in an RV oven. Um, please subscribe if you're not subscribed um, and hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, we'd love to see you come back. Just hit that notification bell and that way YouTube's going to tell you when we put up more content. Bye, y'all. Bye.